Okay, is that better? Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, this is a retake on page 5, 6 of the HSE workbook. And uh, let's hope we don't have any problem here now with the casting. All right, so let's look at what is given. Two views. Two views. A partial floor plan. And a partial elevation. Yes or no? Radio, pay attention to our sliding doors. Also, that line on the outside that shows us the difference in floor level height between the inside of this house and the natural ground level. So, finished floor level on the inside, natural ground level on the outside. All right. Pay attention to the swing of this door and the position of the hinge here in that door frame. And then we have a window with a windowsill. That's what is given. They ask us then to use this information as well as the elevation here with the natural ground level plus that finished floor level and project upwards our elevation here scale 1 to 20. They add on to say the top of our doorway is at a 2100 millimeters. All right, the standard height of all doors and windows. So we're going to use what is given. And we're going to get going. So we're going to start off. Let's start one at a time. Scale 1 to 20 if you have your ruler here. From the finished floor level, you'll measure 2,100. And you'll make a mark on the top. That is the top of all windows and doors. So you can draw a construction line all the way through. Okay. Good. Then we're going to... Um, Yes, what's wrong? Um, yeah, from a finished floor level. Yeah. Is that what I said? From here to the finished floor level, 2,100. All right. Then we can start with our sliding door. So we're going to go up, chip. Same on this one. Up. All right. Sorry. Got to do the center there. Look at where we bring that up from. All right, and we're going to do two millimeters around, all the way around. Now you can measure it, or you can ideally measure it, all right? On this inside, okay. So just pay attention. There's a line there, and there's a line there that closes in line with this bottom end, ne? okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to redo this one. All right, can you see here at the bottom? There's a line and there's a line. All right, so the front one from the out, the one on the right hand side, there's a line that goes all the way up. Yes or no? All right, it's also got that same thickness as the rest of it. Two millimeters. Okay, let me zoom in here to make sure you're able to see that. Okay, so you have this front door panel up. And over at the back there's another panel this one is at is behind it ne? it's on it's behind it it's this line here that you see it's be, directly behind that line so our left panel or left panel is in front of the right panel 
and here you do an arrow to show the sliding direction. Okay, easy as that. Then on the right hand side, on the left hand side, oh, what happened to my left and right hand side here? Okay. All right, from the inside there, construction line up, construction line up, and then the door frame, it's also two millimeters on the outside, okay? They actually should have probably showed the door frame better here. Okay. So, let me just help you. This door frame at the bottom technically looks like this. They've just done the outline, but just to help you out. This door frame looks like this. If you look at any door frame, does this make sense to you? A wooden door frame? Okay, that's how it looks. Okay. So the two lines that we are drawing on top is this one and that one. Okay, those are the two lines. So in line, just make your own judgment here. It's about four, four millimeters. Okay. On the outside, there's a line going up. Then on the inside, Okay, and that's step. Okay, here bye. Okay, and to the left of that we've got the window. So the outside of the window, construction line, construction line. And then they give you the Details for that window. It's all here. Yeah? Okay. So there's a 450. And there's another 450 here. The height is 1,500. Yeah, Monsieur. Benetu. See, are all going to be my friend? Yeah. By the deer, was the you must go sign and get taken it. So it's from here up, so and so. Okay, so, yeah, the the deer here is on the inside. Make it in. Okay. Okay, then is there a fenster bank under it, a window sill, again in good proportion, about two millimeters below that. There's an additional line that's being drawn here. Additional line being drawn. And then in the middle of this one.
Okay, center line. This is the opening of the window that's indicated. Here. We're just practicing in this picture out in this drawing how to draw windows and how to draw doors on the elevation. Okay, so if we look at that again, here's our window. This was given to us, the height was given, the width was given. The 450 is from this line to that line, and you just add your two millimeters either side for that frame. Um, I don't know if I want to say it. I'm not going to say it. Maybe I'll say it. No, I'm not going to say it. All right. And then the hinges is on the outside for this window. There is your closure is on the inside. Ne, die is kan hier as jy op die buitekant. Daar is die handvatsel vir opening. So hierdie twee vensters maak so oop. Maak dit sin. Daar is die venster bankie onder. Here we have this is what the two lines that you're drawing here is a door frame. Okay? So just remember that in this drawing they didn't give you the door frame. But normally there will be a door frame and you're using this line and that line to be these two lines. Exactly there and there. When it gets to the sliding door, it is the actual door, the frame of the door that you are showing here. So there is the first door that's on the front and you look at where that line is. This, is in, this panel is in front of that panel. And so those two lines cross each other here behind each other. Okay, that's how you draw a sliding door, a exterior door, and a window with a windowsill and two openings. Radio, thank you for watching. Now it's your turn.